So how have your first weeks of school been? Uh, it's been wonderful. It's been great getting to know all of you guys and getting to know a lot of new students that I haven't met before. Love that people are coming up and introducing themselves to me and saying hello to me. So it's been a beautiful start. I love it. What kind of new regulations are going to be coming in with like the stricter policy with like IDs, mm -hmm. like tardy sweeps? What we're trying to do with the IDs and tardy sweeps is we've given plenty of opportunity now to know we need you to wear the ID every day. Really, Irene, we're doing that because of safety. We want to make sure everybody in this building it can be accounted for. We know who they are. Uh, so we know there's a few students in our building who haven't had a chance to get their ID made because our ID is broken. So we have a list of those kids. Uh, the rest of them that are not wearing it are having to get temporary IDs. Uh, we, when we do an ID sweep and you don't have one, uh, you'll get an automatic 30-minute detention. Uh, the same thing with the tardy sweep. We'll give you time to get to that room. Uh, there's a good passing period where you can get there in plenty of time. Uh, and then if you're not there and you don't have a pass from a teacher saying you were kept after class or something like that, uh, then we're going to do a 30-minute detention. And when we do a 30-minute detention, we're going to do a program called Keep Everything Beautiful, K-E-B, uh, which is an opportunity for us to clean up, help the custodians do things, and give back to the school because of that 30 minutes. It'll teach you character, and I'm trying to set a standard for you guys to be able to uh, learn about time management, learn about making sure you get to work on time one day and to classes on time when you go to college and all of those things uh, that are gonna, you're going to need for your future. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Now, I just want to tell every every kid in this building, man, it's been so uh, open house. I had a great time at open house because I got to meet so many of your parents. It was great meeting them and them telling me whose kid they were. And I had an opportunity to, to put a, a face to a, a parent face. I, some parents would wake up and go, I know exactly who you are. You look just like your child looks just like you. Uh, but it was also an opportunity for me to let our parents know they're part of this process. We want them to be part of our family. We want them to celebrate and, and to work with us on uh, building this culture we're trying to put in this building. Uh, I love, Irene, that we are so diverse in this building. I love that we come from many different cultures in this building, but we have one focus, and that one focus is if we're all here to lift each other up, take care of each other, this would be a great place for everybody to come to school. And I want to greet each day uh, with a, I wake up every single morning, honestly, and I walk my dog very early in the morning. And I do that because I want to start every day. Uh, I say prayer. I ask that I have an opportunity to have a kid come to me during the day that needs a hug, that needs somebody to tell them they love them, that needs somebody to care about them. And if we all left every morning, that was our goal when we came to school, to help somebody's day be better, to lift each other up, to care about each other. Uh, what a great place this would be. People would be rushing to come here every day because we all need somebody every once in a while just to hold on to us and let us know that life's going to be okay. And so that's the kind of place I want to build.